Hey guys, welcome back to the show once again. Today I have a 2004 F-150 5.4 liter three valve engine and it has a slight ticking or tapping noise coming from the cylinder head area. Now this noise is present from cold to hot, from idle to off idle. The noise is just constantly there. It's a definite tapping noise. You know it's not right. Not to mention on uh, this one, the right hand side was much louder than the left hand side. You know it's not normal. You know you need to go in there and investigate. Now there's a lot of different failures associated with the 5.4 liter three valve engine, unfortunately. From 2004 to 2014, basically the same parts were used. I have a whole playlist on my channel dedicated to the 5.4 liter three valve engine. But there's one subject I have not covered yet, and that is failed lash adjusters and roller followers. And the reason being is, as we went along in the dealership, we started the vehicle started going out of warranty, so we didn't see the early models. Now, 04 and 05, when the engine was first introduced, this, was, this failure was rampant. We used to see it all the time, and a lot of times, they would fail and chew up the camshaft, which is, which is a couple hundred dollars by itself. So today, because this engine does have this kind of failure, I want to show you in detail on the bench what to look for in each of these on how they fail. I'm going to give you a good in-depth look so you know exactly how to inspect your valve train if you have this kind of noise. Or if you're in there doing a big timing job and everything's apart anyways, you better check these in detail before you just throw them back in. So let's go over to the bench and check it out. Now the lash adjusters and the roller followers are located underneath the valve cover, underneath the camshafts, and they're used to actuate the valves in the cylinder head. So right here you can see the two lash adjusters and the roller follower right there. So if you need help getting these out, I do have videos on how to remove these components uh, to get them out for inspection. All right, let's get right down to it. We have three roller followers here, and one is new. One is used but in good condition and one has failed. Now they all look like they're pretty good until you get in there and inspect them. So let's put these ones off to the side and we'll concentrate on the used known good roller follower right here. Now there's a few different points you want to inspect on here. The very first one being the actual uh, rocker itself. We'll make sure there's no cracks, chunks taken out, stuff like that. Uh, to make sure it's in good working condition. Now this relief back here, that cutout may look weird when you first look at it on the vehicle. It's totally normal, it's just like a wheel drain and it wheel spurts out of here to get onto the roller itself. Now, I wanna spin it around, spin it around, spin it around, and look in the bottom side here. You're gonna have two different wear points on here, right there where it hits the valve stem, and right here where it hits the lash adjuster. So these are gonna be wear points, they're gonna be shiny, but generally they're not an issue. Now the roller itself is what you wanna really concentrate on. You wanna check the surface of it, and you wanna check it all the way around. Make sure there's no flat spots, make sure it rolls really nice like this. Put some pressure on it and roll it. Make sure it's smooth, there's no grinding uh, going on inside of there. And the other test you wanna do is this right here. You wanna hold the actual rocker, and then you're gonna grab the roller itself. And I'll try to hold as much as, as good as I can. When we're gonna grab the roller, and we're gonna attempt to go up and down with it, okay? You should have no movement on there. Of course, I'm moving the whole thing, but there's no movement. Good to go, spins good, looks good, it's good for another, what, 50 to 100,000 miles. In general, since I would say 06, 07, uh, when these got redesigned, uh, with good oil changes, they will last, I found. Now, by comparison, here is a used one that has failed. And the very first thing you'll notice is a side profile right here. You can see the roller has dropped. And you can kind of see it down below here. Now, compare that to a new one. You can see how much more is showing up here and how little is showing down here. Okay, that's, that's, that's your first indication. Now we spin it and it feels a little rough. Okay, I understand. Everything else on here looks good to go. Wear points, normal. And then you do the final test. And watch this, this is how they're all pretty much gonna fail. Look at that. 
Look at that wear. That's, that's a huge amount of lash in the valve train, and it's going to cause noise. I actually had a couple of these fail, and lash adjusters fail on the exhaust valves, and it caused a <sighs> compression-type noise whenever the intake valves opened up because this was not allowing all the exhaust gases out. So uh, they can make all kinds of weird noises. But this roller is what you want to inspect. Check the finish. Make sure there's no flat spots. Make sure it rolls smooth. And then that final test. Wow, look at that, right? This is how they fail, though. And then once the needle bearings in here fail so much like that, it'll just sit there. And that cam lobe's coming over the top of it. And this should be rolling. And it'll just grind right into the cam. So you want to inspect these. Very important. Now, I also have three lash adjusters. And I'll show you here. So we have a brand new one and a failed one, as you can hear there, and then a known good used one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to inspect these also. So let's go ahead and start with the, uh, the known good used one. Now the first thing you want to do is just check the outside, make sure no obvious damage is there, the bottom isn't punctured through, stuff like that. Um, just a general broad overview of it. It's going to have wear points, especially up here where it goes into the um, the actual roller. Okay, it pivots off of that. Okay, it's going to wear, no problem. The big thing you want to check though is the actual plunger inside of here. Once these are pumped up with pressurized oil, they should hold. So the oil comes in right here, it pressurizes it, and then it spurts out here to lubricate uh, the top of the roller right here and keep all that lubricated the cam lobe and all that go ahead grab it and try to push down now you see how far it went down like that i'll try to hold it steady that's as far as i can go and then it gets rock solid perfectly fine known good used unit right here now by comparison and you really got to pay attention this is a failed used unit yeah you see that it's just letting it all hang out. And this one was a, a weird failure. Every once in a while, the seal inside of here, the plunger, would actually seal, so it would get hard on me. Like, I kind of, well, it's not even doing it no more. Um, but it'll get to that point where it, 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 be, it might be hard sometimes, and other times it just compresses. It's a, it's a collapsed lash adjuster, okay? This one's very obvious now. It's been sitting here a while. Um, but it may just go down a little bit, a little bit like that. Not right. Again, here is a known good one that's pressurized and holding inside of here. That's me pushing down really hard. You see how far it's going down? That's it. It gets rock hard. Now, you may be thinking, you may find that you have a failed one. You go buy new ones, and then you go, uh, the new one's worse than the old one. That guy, Fortech, is an idiot. Well, what you need to do when you get the new ones, you need to take it, put it in a bath of oil so it's higher than the fill hole here, and just put it in there and pressurize it and it'll pump it up inside of there. And after that, it'll hold like that known good used one. So these are really good items to check. This one will cause noise, okay? Whereas this one, when it starts failing like that, where's the bad one? This one right here, I can feel it's just flopping around. When these ones go, though, these ones will damage the cams, and the cams are about three to five hundred dollars a piece. So good items to check whenever you're inside your 5.4 liter three valve engine. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a good general understanding of exactly what to look for when you're inspecting your valve train on your 5.4 three valve engine. Now the reason I did not provide any kind of sound bite for this noise you may experience in the engine is because it can sound different with each kind of failure. So if a collapsed lifter, you only have the noise on startup, okay? You have uh, roller followers that are uh, failing like on this one, you'll have the noise all the time. And then uh, this one also I had a compression type noise. It's really odd because there was a lot of failures on the exhaust valve. So it wasn't opening all the way and letting all that pressure out. The pressure was still there, intake valve open, and you kind of you kind of heard that, that, that pressure come through there. So it's definitely not a good example of how they normally sound. That's about it for now, guys. Hopefully you guys got something out of this and it's helped you fix your Ford yourself. I'll see you next time.